Greetings folks and welcome to the channel. I am your host Coco Smooth, the casual collector. Yeah, and in this segment of 112 scale military action figure takes, um, I am revisiting the Action Force Infantry Commando by Valiverse. Um, yeah, special deploy. I think this is not, I don't know if it's a special deployment. Yeah, special deployment series five. Um, this is my second one. Um, I decided to go pull the trigger on a second one because first and foremost, it's this kind of exclusive. You're, I, I don't know the chances of this ever being remade again. And I like this figure so much the first time around that I figured, all right, well, I better get a battle buddy for this guy because, you know, they can be together in uniform, right? Um, I really mulled over just keeping this mint on card, but the fact of the matter is, now that I think about it, I don't really have much time <laughs> this earth. We don't, tomorrow's not promised, right? And, um, yeah, investing is, in toys is not this, you know, is, is <laughs> just not wise. Just to, you're going to invest in something, invest in money, <laughs> not in, not in toys. Anywho, yeah, but you know, my, my, my younger tendencies, you know, just hard to beat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reopen one. Yeah, I'm opening it so you guys see what's going on. Uh, 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 comes in this case with this awesome thing to protect it from paint smear, which, if you notice, there was kind of paint smear here so yeah it's a good thing that it was there to pre you know <laughs> to prevent further smearing um but yeah hang on so yeah uh take him out of the box the package i love his boots and his entire acu you know bdu kind of situation going on uh, I'm going to give him his Kevlar and his night, his nods, his night vision goggles, right? Um, what I am going to do differently in this case is because I have his buddy already here in this, so I will... Get a different hand so it looks like it's a completely different figure. Even though it's the same. Excuse me, let me pull it out real quick and put this in real quick. Oop. Hopefully it'll fit. I'm sure it will, but it's going to be a little on the tricky side of things. Come on. Easy to get out, but difficult to put in. Uh, you see me struggling in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the scarf that's making it kind of a little on the tricky side for me. Let me uh, come on, go in, go in. Go in. <laughs> there you go. That satisfying snap. Boop. And he's in. Cool. All right. Well, putting this head in here. Yay. And getting his rifle out. So that he can... Uh... I like his boots and glove combo. Yeah, these guys can be either woodland or desert, which is... Kind of cool. Reminds me of the ACU, which could be either. Well, to be honest, even the current army uniform is uh, like similar in that capacity. It could go either desert or woodland with all the brown that it's got going on. The the pattern that it's got. Okay, trigger finger is a little difficult to put on. Yeah. Yeah, I decided to invest in one of these because, well, I don't think they're going to remake these. 
guys. So it would be, I would recommend that if you guys didn't get one, now would be the time to get one. I don't think um, Bobby's going to be making any more of these or reissuing any more of these. I don't know yet. So the hands definitely go this way. So yeah, you can definitely have him with the traditional uh, proper way to kind of hold the weapon. You know, but, but since it's got a modified stock here, Let's see. Yeah. Cool. It's going to be a little bit on the awkward side, but it can be done. You know, see. Have them pointing down, you know, go towards the down so you're not flagging anyone. So, yeah. Really cool. Yay. All right, let me uh, put this away. And of course, it comes with the traditional stuff, the the additional hands, right? Oh, let me give him. I forgot to give him his pistol. Put it in his um in his holster. Hang on, folks. Sorry about that. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take a screwdriver to take it out because I don't want to to pry it out. So I'm trying to, there we go. I'm trying to wreck the plastic just to get the pistola out. Cool. Yeah. And it comes with the traditional except desert style stand. So, yeah. There you go. So the history, I don't know if I told you guys this in the previous video. Door, it was a dark side exclusive when they first announced this. And what happened was in the middle of them selling this, uh, the, the store went under. And so Bobby Valla had to find a way to get these uh, um, things sold since uh, the, the, the seller, the exclusive that it was meant for, is were, were folding. Um, so I think he bought them all and then sold them in his store, whatever he could left in his store. And yeah, either way, they 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 were they were destroyed out. The problem is this was so many years ago, and I'm only getting caught up into Action Force now. So um, yeah, it become, it, I'm sure it was a lot easier to get back then. But yeah, these things are not easy to get now. So eBay and uh, other you know individual sellers are going to be the only one who's going to have this. So Sorry, y'all. If you've never gotten one, now would be the time to, to 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 get it, All right? But let's let's talk about it. So here's what the card says: Infantry Commando, file name various, uh, primary specialty eleven Bravo Infantry. That's the Army nomenclature. Uh, secondary skill various, birthplace various, because it means it could be anybody. When Action First conducts larger missions, they need to recruit additional personnel from surrounding republics. These additional tactical Tactical units are comprised of elite members of the Republic Territory Guard. Action Force referred to these units as infantry commandos. These commandos undergo the same training as Action Force members to ensure that they operate as a cohesive unit working together. Action Force looks at the infantry commandos as an extension of their own unit. Operating with the elite members of Action Force allows the infantry commandos to do better protect their own republics when they return. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I read this out loud to you guys the first time. I probably try to make you guys just read it, you know, pause and read. But I read. Daddy loves to read in real life. I just wanted to keep the video short. But now I'm just like, you know what? If you guys are YouTubers, you ain't looking for short videos. You guys, for the most part, you guys are here for the long ones. You know what I mean? And here's what I got. Um, yeah, what, one of the reasons why I absolutely adore these figs, especially this. Let me bring it down so you guys can see the gosh damn boots because the boots are what make it. What I love about these figures in particular is the boots. The one gripe that I had about um, uh, the desert ones is the these boots. I prefer the traditional, you know, military boots versus you know the the boots that they use to 
in, in the troop builders are all kind of like this. I prefer the more traditional look. It's a little bit on the frustrating side. If Bobby wants to make you know reissue these things with those kind of boots but with the corresponding colors man that's a quick way for me to rebuy all of those things again just because these boots are are money for me i love it you know so yeah and i just i just needed them to you know these guys to be the battle buddies i love it this this looks great these guys make such great you know this would this these things were so good that i think that that even G.I. Joe decided to make their uh, 60th anniversary figs <coughs> as a direct answer to, to these things right there, right? Um, so let's... Originally, when I, when, I, when I tried to get these, it was because uh, I wanted companions for... Desert companions for Dusty, because Dusty was like all by himself. And he just didn't seem to look like he meshed well with any of the other Joes. So I was like, man... I need to get troopers for him to for, to follow him, so he wasn't by himself. So now <laughs> he looks he looks great. Now that I also got desert troopers, he looks like Dusty belong you know belongs with the rest of these guys. They can all just hang out, right? Now let's say that let's put the desert guys away. Um, let's say that they you know we were going more of the wood the woodland take, right? I guess. Well, while Grunt is more of the Vietnam related guy. I think he would still match pretty well with these guys, kind of. You know what I mean? Because G.I. Joe in general is just full of characters that don't have the same color scheme anyway. So, you know, they make for good just background, you know, troopers and stuff. Let me uh, get these out so you can better, you know, let the colors um, do the talking, right? I don't, you know, what do you guys think, guys? Let me know. Do you guys think that this is a... That, that this the congruency in this kind of makes sense, right? So I could see I could see them all kind of hanging out. It makes sense to me. Um, put them in with, say, uh, stalker. Um, let's see. You can put them in with. General Hawk, he can, you know, General Hawk can, can have these guys be his flunkies, <laughs> you know, I think it would work. You're like, hey, we follow you, sir. <laughs> we protect you. <laughs> so, I think it would make sense. The, the, the problem is these things look, might be a little too, too realistic that it does make the other Joes look like they're really out of uniform, you know, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think they still look, look really good background characters, you know. Um, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I guess what I need to do is get more like uh, background um, accessory, like gate guard, gate guard features or turrets or, you know, thing guard, ta guard towers and see where all of these kind of, if they all mesh together better. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Because to me, these guys would make more sense doing guard tower stuff in Joe territory than, say, um, a shipwreck or, you know, you know, a, a, a ninja. <laughs> Just wouldn't make sense, you know what I'm saying? Or if you can imagine Parth, you know, hanging out in the, the guard shack, you know, with these guys. It just, you know, with, without these guys, it just, it, it just kind of be weird. You know, so yeah, there's got to be people behind, and I think that these guys would make sense for the characters to be guarding the shacks and stuff. You know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love these figs. These the the, the look, the aesthetic. It's just <clears throat> really good. Um, of of course, I kind of wish that there were a they could be a little bit more accurate to the either the army uniform or the marine one. So you can buy marine ones and army ones. Maybe one day Bobby will. We'll do it. I don't know if legally he can or not, but that would have been the smart thing to do. Do the Marine versions and the uh, Army versions. I'm sure people would, you know, would, would, would buy those too. You know what I mean? To, to troop build. And they'd love the distinction, you know? So, yeah. Well, all right, folks. That's all I got for this segment of um, 112 scale military action figure takes.
the Valiverse Action Force exclusive, um, Darkside exclusive Infantry Commando Special Deployment Series number five. I am your host, Coco Smooth, the casual collector. And until next video, folks, ciao. <laughs>